Han Penelo Alvarez win the war against Pekelashek. What do you make of the back and forth? Do you think it's necessary? Do you think Alashek should have just kept kept it uh, low key and not say anything? You know, or do you think he was is right to like voice out and pick his mind? My bad, bro. Repeat that. Repeat that again, bro. I mean, Al- Alashik and uh, Canelo Alvarez, like the back and forth. Um, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So I've been, I've been meaning to, yeah, yeah, I've been meaning to speak on this situation that has been going on. Listen, <laughs> all these Canelo fans, all clamoring, yelling, blah, blah, blah. Turk Alashi, listen, Turk Alashi, since since he's been involved, has been giving us good fights that we would see later on during the year. And people are trying to act like, oh, what has he done? Set up one fight? Please, man, let, 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 stop it. The man has set up fights, like I said, that we would see in freaking three years from now. He set those up in within a year. You right? Usyk. Usyk versus Tyson Fury, all right. Uh, 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 um, I, I, I completely forgot, right? And just because Canelo lost to Be- Better Beef, and Canelo's afraid to rematch Better Beef, right? Uh, the, 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 uh, the, uh, then said, "Let's get Crawford versus Canelo." One silent. Yes, yeah, he he's been putting out some crazy, crazy amount of numbers, right? Hey, man, let, let's be fair. You're putting up crazy amount of numbers, but you're, you're not, you're not willing to, you're not willing to fight because you don't want to fight. He's uh, all these guys, they're just going crazy, right? Saying, oh, he hasn't done much, this and this and that. Like, come on, man. Like for real. Like, come on. Don't, don't disrespect the man. What he has been doing. And and for 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 what I'm picking up is that Canelo, he, he's mad because because uh, Turkey called him out online uh, over there over the air and online and they and basically after that Canelo thinks oh uh, just be, I'm in charge no that he shouldn't be fighting that uh that Puerto Rican fighter okay because that kid has not looked good since he started fighting opposition that have been better than him. And these guys, they they basically trying to say, oh no no, it's a warranted fight, man. That's that's not a warranted fight. Nobody wants to see Canelo versus that kid. I wish I could remember this, this, his name. I top my head, but nobody wants to see that fight. Canelo knows it's an easy fight. That's why he's talking shit the way he, the way he the, the way he's talking. Now I have to tell him, oh, how about we fight a, a better beef again? He's gonna keep his mouth shut. Okay, he's not even he's not even into fighting uh, 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 the, this other guy that just fought at light light heavyweight. Okay, he doesn't even want to fight him because he knows what's gonna happen. So Canelo could talk all that mess he wants. His fans could talk all that mess he wants. At the end of the day, Canelo's been ducking two fighters. Okay, he knows he's gonna get his butt beat when he fights. When he fights, um, uh, better beef again. And and I, I wish I could remember this guy, other guy's name, but I can't. But he knows he's gonna get his ass beat, and that's that's as simple as that. I I, I do believe Canelo versus um. Terence Crawford might be evenly matched, but you never know. I under I underestimated Crawford I'm not doing it again, so I'll just call it as it is. Might be evenly matched, and this guy does not want does not want that fight. His his one his two his two losses is fine, so he's gonna take easy fights. Okay, you know he's gonna take easy fights until he prices himself out. Just as simple as that, man. Honestly. Yeah, man. I, like I said, I always support. Turkey over all these fighters that like, like, like that love to prize themselves out because we used to have this A side, B side, and stuff like that. Now Turkey actually like, came in and just literally destroyed it. You know, yeah. The, that the guy set up a good fight, man. Again, uh, Eddie Hearn versus Eddie Hearn versus uh, 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 um, what, what what's this guy's what's this guy's Frank name? Warren, Frank Warren. Frank Warren. He set up good fights, and they can't say the the fight that he set up the undercard wasn't good. The undercard was fantastic, man. You don't set up fights like that at all. Fights that we will see in, in in years that will take years to make. He put these promoters together and they started working. And these uh, they, what, what, and people are getting mad. Like what has he done, man? The guy deserves to be in 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 the boxing hall of fame. He deserves every every one of it, right? And these guys don't want to admit it. it, it it's 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 crazy to me. 
Yeah, man. Crazy. Just one of those things you look at and just kind of shake your head. Um, what is your what was your take on uh, the first Lugano uh, Pereira fight? Who, who, who's he gonna fight? Ferreira, Ferreira. One of the most uh, dangerous PF, uh, PFF fight. Listen, I don't know where Francis Ogano's head is, but let's hope that he decides to, you know, to really ch to um, to come back and make, make uh, go back into you know UFC and hopefully they offer him they offer him good money and they respect what he does. As of right now, I think uh, um, uh, Francis Ungano has faced the best in boxing. And believe it or not, when facing guys like guys that are better than you, you actually get better. And I do believe Francis Ungano has gotten better. I mean, he's faced one of the, one of the best combination punchers, right, which is Anthony Joshua. And he's gotten knocked out by Anthony Joshua, which is one of the deadliest punchers. You know, heavyweight. One of the heavyweight has to present, right? And I think he. I'm, and I'm pretty sure, as of, as as of uh, as as of the, the the prior to his fight, he didn't gain that much experience. But after, I'm pretty sure he's gained experience and he's probably learned some uh, one or two things. You know, I gotta give it to Francis. The guy's smart. You know, and I'm, and he's gonna be in the game for a minute. To to knock that guy out the way he got knocked out by AJ, it's gonna be impossible. And I, I believe these guys will try to replicate it, but it's not going to work. And, it, and that's how they're going to fall into that trap, right? Trying to rec replicate what Anthony Joshua did. And they're going to end up getting knocked out themselves. There's a big difference between boxing and PFL. And there's a big difference between AJ and a, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a UFC fighter and a PFL fighter. AJ is definitely a strategic fighter. He knows his ring generalship and all that. And these guys are trying to think they could do the same thing to uh, emulate what 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 uh, Anthony Joshua was done and end up getting beat. It's as simple. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, Francis Ngannou is one of the most dangerous fighters right now. He still is. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting though. We'll see how that plays out. 